Katie Elman reporting for TTN HD Production Live here with actor Joel Murray who plays Policeman Fire in The Artist. Did you have a good time making this film? I, uh, I got a great workout out of it. I uh, ran for two days straight chasing that dog and uh, it was kind of humorous in the fact that the, the director would be like, now Joel, I want you to run from here to, to la, to, to there, all right? And it was like 75 yard wind sprints and then after we did that 10 times or something then it was maybe 45 yard wind sprints and uh, I thought I was really going to catch the dog one of the times but not even close. Did you start hating the dog? Uh, no, I didn't <laughs> quite hate it. Um, there was one shot that they didn't use in the movie which they had a, a camera real low angle on a gator a six wheel little vehicle and uh, they were shooting the dog in the foreground about six inches off the ground and the dog is just like a, a cartoon reindeer and I'm in the back just hauling as hard as I can run and the dog looks like it's completely effortless just making sure I'm running with him but I think it was kind of too high tech a looking a shot to be in the movie but uh, <laughs> made me laugh and hate that dog even more. <laughs> How did you get involved in the project? Uh, I was uh, auditioning for Heidi Levitt, the casting agent, for something else. It was a last minute replacement on this movie with uh, like Jeremy Piven and Rob Lowe and uh, it, this guy, it was whether or not he was going to get his visa or not. And if he didn't get his visa, I could have been in the movie, but his, his visa came through kind of thing. Well, it, I have a lot of stories like that in my career, but uh, <laughs> Heidi said that, wow, you got a, a face for silent movies. Uh, and uh, she called me in about a week later, and I, I, I kind of ribbed my agent when he called. And I said, seriously, it's 3D this, 3D that. You're sending me on a black and white French silent movie. I've got to get rid of you. And uh, I got the part. It was, a, it was a weird situation where, you know, sometimes you have auditions on the other side of town in Los Angeles on Friday afternoon. The last thing you want to do is go brave the traffic to go over there. But uh, it's turned out to be worth it. Did you have to modify your acting for the silent movie? Um, I'm kind of big generally, uh, <laughs> so I have to modify it for, for everything else. Uh, I've been joking that I, I used a thick Irish accent, and uh, I've never really tried that on film before, but I thought what better time that to try it than uh, in a silent film. Um, I worked with Annie O'Connell on the street corner when the dog first comes up, who's a, a great old character actress who's been around forever. and. Uh, then, you know, to actually pull him out of the fire, there was fire about this high inside the studio, and then the, the building where we sh pulled him out of, that was completely engulfed in smoke. And uh, I followed one of the Uggies, uh, I worked with three different dogs, and uh, followed him in the fire, and the dog was kind of like, okay, get him, come on, you know, wh what are we waiting on? But uh, <laughs> consummate professional, the dog. And uh, I was kind of, expecting a smaller Frenchman, you know, m maybe more like Le Beau from Hogan's Heroes, a, a little petit Frenchman. But uh, Jean Dujardin's kind of my size. Is a, oh. He's kind of a big guy to pick up and carry out of a smoke-filled room and uh, down a flight of stairs. But uh, it was a good workout, the whole, the whole nine yards of it. What inspired you to become an actor? Originally, lack of direction. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I started in the fourth grade. I was at a friend's house and uh, he was going, he and his brother were going to audition for a musical and the mom said, now you gotta go home now, Joel. The, the boys are going to an audition. And I'm the youngest of nine and my mom worked. And I was like, well, I, I don't really gotta go home. I'll go. And like, no, you don't have to go. Yeah, you should go now. No, I'll come. And I went and I got a part in Oliver back when I was in fourth grade. And I kind of got into it and I did plays in grade school and high school because that was the only time there were girls in my all Catholic high, boys high school. And uh, then uh, in college, when I gave up playing football, I, uh, I kind of went towards the acting. Yeah. Has it been what you expected it to be? It's ever changing, you know. I mean, the first thing I ever auditioned for, I got a part in One Crazy Summer and had two and a half months in Nantucket on a movie with. John Cusack and Bob Goldthwaite and all these great people and uh, I thought wow this is the easiest thing in the world mm -hmm. but uh, not every week is like that. Some, uh, mm -hmm. How did you get involved with God Bless America? My good friend Bobcat who I've known since 85 when we did One Crazy, crazy Summer um, 
he was having back surgery and I've, I've you know watched his career he's been a director for the last six seven years and he's done some great stuff and uh i was in one of his movies shake the clown and i was offered a part in one that i didn't do and uh i was very jealous that i wasn't in world's greatest dad with robin williams that he did most recently and uh so um he was having back surgery and i said uh I'll bring you over dinner, you know, when you're home all laid up kind of thing. And uh, so I brought him uh, the first three seasons of Mad Men because mm -hmm. I meet a lot of people that say, you know, I, I, I hear you're on Mad Men. I don't watch it. I, I'm waiting, you know, for a reason to, you know, watch them all in a row. I don't want to just jump in. And I, I run into people that say, you know, I had sp spinal meningitis last year. It was horrible. But I caught up on the first three years of Mad Men. So I, br <laughs> I brought Bob uh, the first three years and um, somewhere – in watching them all, his wife all of a sudden turned to him and said, you know, Joel could do the part. And uh, he sent me the script and uh, I said, you know, it's great, Bob, I really like it. You know, you want me to be the guy in the office or, you know, the guy in the car, what? And he says, no, Frank, like the guy, and the, yeah. And, you know, guys don't offer me leads in movies all the time. So uh, I, uh, I jumped at it and it was really a lot of fun and it, it's, He's done an amazing job. Um, the editing, every time I see it, it's, it's better and better. We, we premiered up in Toronto in September and it got bought the first day by Magnolia. Magnet's gonna give it a 20 city release. And uh, we went back and we shot more scenes in New York and then we shot stuff in LA again. And uh, it just keeps getting better. And it's, it's really a fun film. There's a lot of shooting in it and the trailer is out and it's very, controversial but and you kill a number of people I kill a, about 30 and uh, the ironic thing is the the thing the movie is trying to say the theme is why can't we be nice why did everybody when did everybody start being so mean you know why can't we just be nice and I guess you know the violence uh, gets people's attention but that's what the that's what the message is when can we expect to see it in theaters uh, it'll be in theaters May 11th and uh, video on demand April 6th. They're, they're leaking them out early now, so you can get some word of mouth before it gets in the theaters. But uh, we're going down next week to uh, South by Southwest in uh, uh, beautiful Austin, Texas uh, for the festival. And uh, I'm excited about that, too. How are you feeling about the Oscars coming up on Sunday? I, uh, I thought it was a lock for a while. I think uh, it's the best picture out there. It's... Uh, the work that Michelle, the director, put into it is unparalleled, I think, compared to anything else. I'm, this year, because I'm in one of them, I've, I've really made an effort to see just about everything. And uh, I, I really think it's, it's a beautiful piece, and it's timeless, and uh, it, it deserves it. Uh, but I think it, it's going to happen. And uh, I, th I think it's amazing the fact that, you know, this was kind of the art piece that these guys, you know, my friend and his girlfriend and I want to do before they do another one of these French spy spoofs in, in France. <laughs> and here it's going to end up winning the Oscar. And, uh, you know, it just shows what might happen when you let artists be artists as compared to, you know, control it and manipulate it and change it. You're on IMDb. Is there any other place online where we could check you out? Uh, yeah, no, I don't have a web page yet. Uh, where can you check me out? Yeah. IMDb. IMDb. We'll stick to IMDb. Google Joel. He's there. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Joel, and best of luck with the Oscars and God Bless America and all of your upcoming projects. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.